Here's some examples of different times where I use various aperture ranges to achieve different looks. This image here was shot at an aperture of 1.8. This is because it was very, very dark outside and I needed to let in as much light as possible. As you can see, it gave it a very nice look of having the background very blurred out. This very well could have been shot at a higher aperture to keep the background in focus. However, I would have needed a tripod if that was the case. An aperture of f1.8 or even lower is great for keeping the background blurry or what we like to call depth of field. And it's really incredible for portraiture. Here's an example of an image that was shot at f4. I shot this image at f4 because there was still an adequate amount of daylight outside enough so to keep the image nice and bright however i didn't want to take the aperture too high into the f8 and 11 ranges because i didn't want to have to take my iso high and have to deal with a grainy image next this image here was shot at f8 this is typically what i shoot all my real estate stuff for sometimes i have to go even higher if it's a very bright day outside however f8 was a nice mid-range to keep everything in focus yet still balance the light this image here was shot at an aperture of f11. I shot it at f11 because I wanted primarily everything to remain in focus and there was still an adequate amount of sunlight outside. I didn't want to have to crank my shutter speed too low or raise my ISO too high, so f11 was a good mid-range. Lastly, this image here was shot at an aperture of f16. I shot this at f16 because my shutter speeds were really, really long. I had a shutter speed of about five seconds on this exposure. As you can see, there are some light streaks at the bottom of the screen. Those are from the cars that were passing by as well as the light streaks on the freeway. In order to combat all of that light that was coming into the camera, I had to close up the aperture to make sure I was balancing out the light evenly. Overall, there's no right or wrong aperture to use in every single situation. It's all situational and it all depends on your creative preferences.